guys, it's Victini Gamer here, and since Hu Tao and Gay Lawn is out right now, uh, might as well make a video on them in Spiral Abyss. So yeah, I am bringing back the character Spiral Abyss series where I showcase the characters that are out right now in Spiral Abyss. I'm only going to be showcasing Hu Tao and Gay Lawn because I am very, very busy on other stuff. Uh, I might revive the Victini Gamer Plays channel soon. So yeah, I'm just revamping that. So yeah, um, even though I am not going to be showcasing these four stars, I am going to be showcasing the five stars. At least because they are very important um, for people to summon on because... We got Hu Tao, who is the best DPS in the game, or one of the best DPSs in the game. And then we have Ye Lan, who is one of the best sub-DPSs in the game. So yeah, it's a pretty, uh, well, like, pretty well-balanced banner. I mean, you got the best, uh, DPS in the game, and you got the, one of the best sub-DPSs in the game. So yeah, uh, well, the first character I'm gonna be showcasing is Hu Tao. And then the next video I'm gonna be showcasing Ye Lan, so yeah. Uh, even though I'm not going to be showcasing these four stars, I am going to be showcasing the five stars because they are very, very important. So, here we go. Uh, we're going to be, of course, going on floor 12 because it is the only important floor uh, here. So, uh, the first half doesn't really matter. We're just going to be bringing Raiden, uh, Aggravate Team, or Quicken Team, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and then for second half... We're just going to be bringing the Hu Tao team. I am going to be excluding Ye Lan uh, here for a reason. It's because, well, we need to showcase her in the next video. So we're just going to be doing this instead. So we're just going to be doing this. Yeah, I think this team is pretty good enough. Yeah, the Hu Tao double G-O. So, uh, of course, we're going to be skipping over the first half. And then we're going to be showcasing Hu Tao on the second half of... Uh, 3.4 Spiral Abyss. So yeah, uh, we're gonna be choosing max HP because, well, everyone is with max HP. So yeah, we're just gonna be doing that. And then, well, without any further ado, we're gonna be cutting to the second half of Floor 12 Chamber 1. Alright, so we have a uh, minute and 30 left on the clock, so I think we'll be fine here. But uh, yeah, we're gonna be explaining how Hu Tao works and whatnot. Well, everyone already knows how good Hu Tao is. She's just amazing. One of the best DPSs in the game, actually. Um, so, for Hu Tao, her bread and butter is just her E. So you just use her E and then you charge attack. It's pretty simple, really. And then when you charge attack, you do big, big damage. And then you also leave behind a Blossom. And what that Blossom does, it does passive Pyro damage. So, you could just do passive Pyro damage. Um, while Hu Tao's uh, E is on cooldown. So once her E is on cooldown, you can just, uh, do whatever you want afterwards. So yeah. Uh, so Abyss Mages, huh? I think we'll be fine. We'll just, uh, do a burst here. Get them down. There we go. We can just use, uh, Xing Cho here to get rid of their shields right here. Uh, this is going to be a close, um, uh, one. Yeah, we're just gonna be dash attacking all of these. Alright, Aramites. Uh, we're gonna be using all our bursts here and aggroing them towards us. There we go. Let's use Xing Cho's uh, burst and then let's use her Q. Bam! 180k damage. Yeah, Hu Tao's just so good. Uh, we're gonna be... Uh, this is really close. Can we beat her? Yes, we can. There we go. Hu Tao. Pretty, pretty good. As you can see there, uh, her damage is pretty good. Um, that is basically her bread and butter. Uh, just use her E and then uh, do charge attacks. And then you are good. <laughs> yeah, 180k on her burst. That is extremely, extremely good. So yeah, there we go. Um, that is uh, Hu Tao in a nutshell. So now, all we have to do now is just finish floor 12. So we're going to be going with this buff. And then I'll see you guys in the second half of Chamber 2. Alright, here we are in the second half of uh, Chamber 2. So, it's just gonna be the uh, puppets. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, we are just gonna be using bursts 
uh, for invincibility purposes. Uh, so that we don't take any damage. They are going to be doing it eventually. Yeah, as you can see here. Uh, one of the ice ones is doing it right now. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be using our burst immediately. So that we could uh, get it back. Because our Xingqiu is going to make particles for us. As you can see there, uh, Hu Tao's already almost at her burst. So yeah, uh, she's pretty good for that reason alone. Alright. This is, again, going to be another close one, actually. Alright, let's use her burst so that we don't take damage. Yeah, uh, even though we missed a, a lot of people, uh, it's fine. As long as we don't die. We're going to be- oh! Let's use another one, even though we are frozen. We completely missed that. <laughs> Alright, there's one of them now. Uh, there's two more. Should be down to... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, puppets are easy. Yeah, Hu Tao just bursts through everything. She's so, so good. Yeah. Uh, well, there is one more chamber left to do. And that is chamber three. So we're going to be choosing the elemental skill damage. Because, well, Shang Cho elemental skill is pretty good. So yeah. Well, anyways, I'm going to be cutting to the second half of Chamber 3, so I'll see you guys then. Alright, so here we are in Fortal Chamber 3, second half. So, let's just finish this off. I mean, we have one more chamber to go, and then I'll showcase my Hu Tao build. So here we go. I think, I think we'll be fine as long as we optimize our time accordingly. We're going to be taking care of the Hydro one first, since she is the most annoying, since she produces bubbles, as you can see there. You see the bubbles? <laughs> yeah, she's really annoying. Um, if she entraps you with a bubble, well, uh, good luck. We're going to be using Albedo right there for the burst. We're going to be doing uh, Hu Tao Shenaganry. And we're going to be uh, focusing on the Dendro girl, because the Dendro girl is extremely annoying. Alright, let's use Albedo. Let's use Zhongli right there. And then let's do uh, Xing Cho, get a burst, and then Amital um, Skill, and then just deal with them. Alright. There's one of them down. Uh, now we can deal with these two who are grouped together. There we go. Now we gotta wait for Xing Chou's burst to come back. Alright, there we go. Oh, one of them is down. We could just go for this one. There you go. Um, let's defeat the bird. And now, uh, now this should be GG's. Let's get the burst. Let's get our burst in. And there we go. We barely beat it right there. So yeah, there you go. There is the Hu Tao Showcase on Spiral Abyss 3.4. As you can see there, uh, Hu Tao is extremely good. I mean, she did all the damage <laughs> in the team. So yeah, there you go. There is Hu Tao. Pretty, pretty good, uh, as you can see there. Um, definitely a must pull. And if you are struggling in Spiral Abyss, definitely pull for her. She is extremely good. And I mean extremely, extremely good. You will not be disappointed. Well, anyways, um, as always with these Spiral Abyss showcases, I have to showcase my build. So I am going to be going through this quick because everyone already knows how to build the Hu Tao. I mean, what, it's been two years since she came out. So, yeah. Well, anyways, here you go. Here's my Hu Tao build. As you can see here, her HP is pretty good. Um, I did not give her elemental mastery because she doesn't really need it. All she needs is crit rate, crit damage, and she's all good. As you can see here, uh, she is basically optimized. Crit rate is pretty good. Crit damage is pretty high. Pyro damage is pretty good too. Her weapon is the Staff of Homa, uh, which is the best uh, five-star pull arm in the game, or one of the best five-star pull arms in the game. It is her signature weapon. You should definitely get it. Um, if you do not have the Staff of Homa, and if you do not have enough uh, Primal Gems or Fates to summon for the Staff of Homa, there are other alternatives like the Deathmatch or the Black Cliff 
pole arm. Those are pretty good options as well. You can also do Dragon's Bane. Dragon Bane is pretty good as well since it does pyro damage. Yeah, uh, those are pretty good four star options if you are willing to get those. But if you do have a bit of extra primo gems, definitely summon for the Staff of Homa. It is a really, really good pole arm. As for artifacts, for Peace Crimson Witch of Flames, it's her best set. Uh, there is no other set you could run. But if you are going to be running another set, you could do 2-piece HP, 2-piece Pyro, or 4-piece uh, Millilith. 4-piece Millilith is actually pretty good on her. <laughs> you could run 4-piece Millilith. Uh, the 4-piece attack uh, percent, not the Gladiator one, by the way. Um, it is called the... Uh, it's the one that uh, Yoimiya runs. I forgot the name, but you could run that as well. Uh, those are pretty good options. You can also run 2-piece Pyro, 2-piece No Bleas. That's also pretty good as well. But Crimson Witch of Flames is her best set. Uh, too bad the domain for that uh, artifact set is pretty trash. <laughs> so yeah, good luck getting her artifacts on that domain. As for Constellation C1, uh, if you are going to be going for Constellations on Hutel, definitely get this. This Constellation basically changes how Hutel plays. Uh... If you do not have her C1, you basically have to do charge attacks, and then once your stamina runs out, you have to do normal attacks. So you have to mix charge attacks and normal attacks in between. But if you do have Crimson Bouquet, then you basically must do charge attacks. You have you can't do anything else but charge attacks. It is extremely, extremely valuable to get charge attacks. Because her charge attacks do more damage than their normals. So yeah. Uh, if you are going to be getting a C uh, a Constellation, get C1. That's all you really need, really. Uh, C1 and you can forget about her, since she's just going to be doing a ton, a ton of damage with those charge attacks. And as for talents, 10-10-10. Uh, maxed out, fully crowned, uh, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Yeah, fully crowned Hu Tao is extremely, extremely good. Uh, that is why I fully crowned her. And yeah, there you go. There is the Hu Tao showcase for Spiral Abyss 3.4. Is she good at Spiral Abyss? Uh, do I really need to answer that? <laughs> Yes, she's good. <laughs> well, anyways, like the video if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I upload Genshin videos once a week, so if you like that sort of content, be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to not miss out on a single Genshin upload. Also, comment down below, what do you think of Hotel? Do you think she's good? Do you think she's bad? Uh, would you summon on her? Or would you summon on the banner? Would you not summon? Would you summon for the Staff of Homa instead of Hotel? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, Thank you guys for watching this Hutao Spiral, this showcase, and I'll see you guys in the next Genshin video.